Good morning, everybody. We are back. We're going to our favorite local coffee shop, Aspire Coffee. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that yesterday I drove across town about 35 mile drive and the precision and accuracy of FSD just completely blew me away. It totally made me feel like it was a shadow update. It just got pushed. Like it was just driving amazing. So with that being said, let's see how it goes today. We're on version 12.3.6 with the possible shadow updates. I don't know. All right, we are clear to the left. We're gonna wanna merge over a couple lanes here. As always, I'll let you know if I intervene, do any throttle presses. I do have it in assertive today, minimal lane changes, because this was the feature that I had it in when I drove home. I was super tired, right? I put it in assertive, minimal lane change. It did flawless. So we're gonna try it again today. Heading to Aspire Coffee. We're gonna do our U-turn and then go on route. Got a few routes on our destination today. So we got Aspire Coffee, FedEx, and Wild Car Wash. Hang on tight, sit back, relax. All right, we got the green light. So just pulling up Testify, about 444 sitting on Wi-Fi for this version of 12.3.6. And I just saw a comment below that someone just received 2024.14.3. Now I'm curious if that has the FSD 12.3.6 with it. And super stoked to see when we get 12.4. Like I said, I, they're working on it. I can tell because when we get these little weird phenomenons, the car just drives amazing. Yeah, something's coming. I did have another comment also. Ooh, kind of tight on that to the curb there. We're gonna wanna get in the right lane, perfect. And even the behaviors on like changing lanes earlier and, and the precision on the lanes was this blew me away yesterday. Like I'm like on top of it, FSD. All right, now we're getting into the wrong lane. Let's go ahead and arrow back over here. I'm gonna arrow one more time there. Moved into the wrong lane. All right, so traditionally in the past, it would do a U-turn at this second intersection coming up and it always changes into this inside lane. A little hesitant there today though. We have one truck pulling out. Oh yeah, so the other comment I had was that someone said that uh, when you pull into the parking lot, let FSD do all the maneuvers and see if it'll park itself. I believe what happens is, I think I've tried that before, but I believe what happens is the car just keeps going around the parking lot, just keeps rerouting, but we'll test it here in Aspire Coffee just to, just to see if it'll park. All right, let's initiate the U-turn. We're clear ahead. Kind of slow. Oh, nice and tight. A little aggressive, but it pulled it off. Very cool. Now we're in the 10 mile an hour zone here. Let me goose it a little bit. This has been an issue even before I had it on auto, uh, so today we do have an autopilot max speed offset. You can see it right here, minimal lane changes. It is getting stuck in this area. Let's see where it picks up finally. I keep goosing it a few times. Every time you see it kind of ripple, I'm hitting on this, the throttle just to see if it'll get going. Yeah, so it's really slow in here. Now, traditionally they have a lot of farmer's markets in this area, so on the weekend it does have very, very slow traffic. And that was me on the throttle again. All right, I'm off the, no more, no more throttle presses. So here's for you commenting down below, what happens when you pull in the parking lot? Will it park? I know they're, they're working on that feature. So it does say autopilot navigation complete, press accelerator to resume. I'm just gonna press the accelerator just because it said I had to bump it there, but it didn't turn off. I feel like that doesn't turn off until you end the navigation on this trip, but let's see. I hope you're not busy. All right, so it does look like it's almost rerouting. Yeah, see the route she'll still shows us coming in, but we're just kind of doing circles here in the parking lot. The destination was right up at the front. We'll give it one more try to park and we will move on. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You guys are amazing. Smashing that like button, all the subscriptions, everyone subscribing, you guys are awesome. All right, so are we going to pull right here on the side? Let's see. 
All right, so we did it. He was right. Oh my goodness. I've always gone around the parking lot a couple times, but this time it did it perfect. All right, so cancel Aspire. We're right here at the door. Go get your coffee, and let's keep on on route. Pretty cool. It took a couple go rounds, but it pulled right into that drop off location. So, next destination 2.7 miles, seven minutes on route. We are clear to the left. Creeping. Still clear. Let's commit. All right. Yeah, very slow in this area with this 10 speed limit here. And it's like when you're in auto max, there's almost no way to override it right now. See, now it went to 25, which is normal. I do like the behavior where the car's turning and then FSD already starts to engage into the motion. So I want to take this route. So we're going to stay on the city streets. We all know V12 is still only on the city streets and V11's on the highway. And the highway is kind of hit or miss lately. I feel like some new bugs got introduced into the highway on 12.3.6. It's still super flawless. But uh, I mean, in yesterday's drive, besides yesterday's drive, yesterday was an amazing drive. Still can't believe it. I got home after about 38 minute drive and I was, I was sitting there going, I did not touch anything except for the Nike steering wheel. I didn't even do any throttle presses on that drive. It was pretty uh, magnificent. But we will see how it does today because every day is a new, a new test. Definitely leave me your feedback below if you got this 12.3.6. Also, let me know if you're still waiting for the free trial or if you're, you, you're stuck on the uh, 8.7 build. Or I'm just curious. Having the Testify info only shows us who's uh, subscribed to it. Got the green light. Now, I do like this area to test because there is kind of a lot of construction. In the past, FSD didn't do too well, kind of navigating this area, kind of hesitant. We'll see today. Still waiting for that new UI. All right, we have a car here on the inside lane. Looks like they kind of want to get over. All right, they're slowing down. We're merging in. This car's going slow in the turn only. FSD's been doing very great at maneuvering into the change lanes with multiple traffic. Smooth around the turn. Got some construction, changing lanes. So it looks like our route is straight through. Traditionally, I think it routes us around, but they are doing construction. Now this is a perfect test. This flashing light, I have not been able to get through it on beta, so I'll let it do a few tries. We don't have anybody behind, but it feels like it goes red, it stops, it goes green, it goes off, it goes, but let's see what it does. Watch here real close. So on, off, on, off, on, off, and it won't ever go. Like literally just sitting here patiently waiting. All right, I'm gonna give it some throttle. Let's go ahead. Did not respond to blinking stoplight. That's for you, Ruben. <laughs> Trust me, on my drives though, when I'm not videoing, I will. I have been uh, recording a lot of uh, interventions or disengagements. We need some air conditioning in here. 1.2 miles, four minutes on route. Looks like it's gonna go around here, take a right, and we're headed to FedEx. Another thing I've noticed is on the auto set speed offset, I feel like in certain areas they dialed it back. There used to be times where it would speed so aggressively. Now it's just kind of, it feels normal. <laughs> All right, we're going around some construction here. Very good. Pulling into the middle lane. Love it. Very smooth transition too. Be taking a ride at this light. Now we. This is a. Um, it looks like where I'm at. This is a four-way intersection, so it should be our turn. We're clear. Going around construction cones. 
needs to pull in tight. All right, kind of went a little wide there. That car was kind of wondering. Got the nag, apply slight turning force. I did see someone on X the other day talking about that maybe they dialed back the nag a little bit as far as like how much uh, torque you got to put on the steering wheel to get it to turn off. And I've never had a problem, but they are right. It has got easier. I mean, you just put a little bit of torque and boom, it's off. I've always been pretty good at it. Some people are just a little strong handed and they'll knock it out of FSD. It's very easy to pull it out of it. It used to be, I mean, I don't know. It's never been easy for me, but some people, they can just knock it out very easy. Point 0.2 miles or point 0.4 miles till destination. Doing really good on the behavior on the speed here. Just a couple miles over. I love it. Uh, we are pulling into the shopping center through Leeds Liquor. And what can I get for you today at the liquor store? I don't do much drinking to tell you the truth. It's just when I do, I regret it. All right, so it looks like we're gonna kind of go around the back here. I'm gonna give it one shot to see if it'll park us at the entrance. We're kind of going around the back. I always find it interesting, the nav routes FSD does. It always kind of goes around the back of shopping centers. Kind of creeping out slow here. You know what, while we're here, I'm gonna disengage. Let's go and t test out a quick auto park, and then I do have to run into the uh, FedEx. It looks like FedEx is inside Walgreens. All right, let's go ahead and park right over here. Go ahead and do a full stop. All right, one, two. And I did see the, I believe Elon or someone was talking about on X that they did push improvements to 12.3.6 for auto park and I did notice that on the last few videos it nailed it in one shot it did was well, still slow it still had multiple maneuvers but it did nail each one all right mm -hmm. two shots so it still needs some work I can't wait until every time is one shot then you can kind of use it in traffic it's slow now so there's no one around I still haven't tested the parallel parking. Someone was asking about that yesterday. All right, we've made it to FedEx and we will be right back. All right, everybody, we're back on route. Got the package dropped off. Let's put it into drive and let's charge up FSD. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we got the wheel. FSD is ready to be engaged in one shot. God, this is like Christmas ever since I learned this. Let's see where we're going. We're going to take it right. And that's probably the best way I would do it as well. I don't know. I could, as a human driver, I'd probably go both ways. But this way keeps us right on route. There's an interesting little route it's given us here. What does that do? It kind of gets us onto the freeway and then wraps around. We're going to, I don't know if I want to do that really. Let's go and take city streets. Just inching through the parking lot. Very cautious as usual. I think we're on like day 43, day 42 of the 100 day video challenge. I don't know. I just told myself to stop checking because I just need to keep pumping videos out every day. So we will see the 100 day challenge is, is basically 100 videos in 100 days. All right, let's double check. Are we clear to the left? Looks like we have some trucks, a car. I'll tell you when I think we should go right after this GMC. And I can, FS, I can feel FSD pulling out as I'm looking over there. All right, very good. We do want to get into the left lane here, though. If we get in the right lane, we are disengaging. All right, we slowly pulled over there. And I don't even know if I can fix this situation. I mean, I guess I could disengage and go around. Are we still in... All right, we're still in assertive. I'm going to put back the minimal lane changes. One thing is anytime you turn off the car, minimal lane changes turned on. I wish you can just default that on. And also, if we can add a button that says no lane changes whatsoever, go straight. I would love that too for certain situations. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, I I messed up there, guys. All right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna have to go ahead and disengage. I totally I totally made a fail there. So I saw the blinker. We're sitting there waiting. So I, I tried to cancel it. It put on the right blinker. Immediately started to pull away. So let's try this again. How about that? Round two. All right, engage FSD. I don't know why it didn't pull around there quick enough. All right, and we still have the same route. So instead of it actually had us routed to do the U-turn instead. It pulled around. So still not sure how the nav data and how what the vision is seeing and how it all correlates. It's been kind of confusing lately. Let's see, so we are doing a left turn now. So this was the original route we could have exited. And I almost feel like it would have been easier just because that the traffic builds up on that light. And as you saw, we couldn't get into the lane. Definitely a fail. All right, we got a creep line way out there. I can't see anything to my right yet. All right, let's see. We are almost clear to the left, and we need to creep more to the right. I can't really see. Let's see if we can get this vision over here. God, that's hard to maneuver. We're clear to the left. We're clear to the right. FSD's going. A little slow. Let's commit. Very slow. What happened to that aggressiveness? Nice lane change, though. All right, 1.5 miles, five minutes to our route at Wild Car Watch because this car is dirty and we got places to go. All right, we should be able to make the right turn on red. Oop, kind of abrupt stop there. All right, we are clear though. We were clear. Let's see if we get some blue going here. It looks like we're, okay, beta's going. Very good. I was just starting to think I need to push on that throttle. But it was almost like when that light turned green on the other side, it was just like, boom, go. Nice lane change. I did have another comment too about the video being a little bit low, so I kind of cranked it up a little bit higher today just to see maybe you could see a little better out the window. I feel like this is the best spot for me when I'm watching them and editing them. But you know, let me know down below. Always love everyone's feedback. I was taking my daughter to school this morning and I told her that I don't even know if she's going to be driving by the time she gets her license. She's got about five years. I told her about that robo taxi app, how you can just press it and the robo taxi will come for you. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be fantastic? I would still own a car though, because there's certain times where I need to have uh, lots of gear with me, you know? So we'll have to see how that works. 0.7 of a mile, just cruising like nobody's business. I tell you, you can fall asleep on FSD. There's almost no throttle input or no brake input or regen. It's like coasting. All right, we got traffic coming up and construction. We are in the right lane, though, to avoid the construction, which is good. software so we're on 12 oh checking for updates i'm doing my one-time update for the day not worried though there's no big pushes going out 12.3.6 is the version 2024.3.25 what version are you on i definitely love your feedback tell me about what you're experiencing very smooth it's getting to the point where i don't think people can tell them on fsd You know, there was times on V11 that the car would jerk around so much and get so robotic with the steering wheel and the wheels turning that people would look at the car and just go, what is going on, right? Like, they're almost stunned. They don't even know what's going on. Let's see if we pull into the... So this is entrance for Wild Car Wash. We do have traffic behind. Are we going to turn right? I don't think so, so I'm going to go and cancel it. That's just because of a nav data problem on the route. If I show you here, see, like, it wants us to go in an area that doesn't make, well it did it already rerouted here so we'll go ahead and end this route yeah i'm not sure what i was talking about back there but i'll tell you what i'm super excited that you guys made it all the way to the end super excited all the subscriptions it's just amazing seeing everyone subscribe to the channel to watch these fsd videos and every single like 
I love it. So smash that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.